Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn Metallica's new one. Uh, well, it's new right now. It came out this week. Uh, Moth Into Flame. So this one's got, this one's great. This has got some really cool riffs in it, a lot of them. So I'm going to have to give you the minute and second mark of where the, a lot of this stuff appears. Um, it's got a lot of harmony guitar work we're going to cover as well. Um, so it's fun stuff. So this video is going to take care of all the harmony guitar work and all the riffs. Um, and then we'll do one more lesson to cover uh, Kirk Hammett's solo, which is just one of those wad-wrenched crazy ones again. All right, so let's take a look at this intro uh, that I just played. <laughs> So that's basically James Hetfield's harmony part. So we're gonna have this. We're gonna go into this. So that's sliding into nine on the G string. 10, nine, seven, then the E power chord. Then go back into that nine. This time 12, nine, down to seven, and then you hit the power chord twice. So we have that. Repeat that. Now, Kirk Hammett's harmony part over that sounds like this. All right, so that's sliding into 12, 13. 12, 10 on the B, power chord, then 8, 12, 8, 7. And then we're back to that. And then it, after you, basically when you start over the, you can, it's easy to see from head fills part. So do that again. So this time, so you just do that riff, so it's the, the first time and instead of going back to the power chord, hitting that power chord once, you slide into the 7th fret on the A, then 8, 7, then slide again, up to 7, and then 10, 7, that's where it is, again, slide up to 7, 8, 7, Side of a seven, and then ten. So, or side of five to seven. Stop on the second time you play that ten, and then we have this power chord. It's an E to D power chord with the fifth in the bass. So that's barring across the seventh fret on the um, A and the low E, and grabbing the seventh fret on the D. I mean, tenth, ninth fret on the D. Play that chord and then move it down two frets. So it gives an illusion you're playing a six, uh, seven string guitar. And then we have this main, I just call this kind of the groove riff. This has a, it happens at the 18 second mark in the song. It sounds like this. All right, so, um, Here's the picking pattern of that. It's, it's kind of a, some gallops with a couple of other just straight down strokes thrown in there. So what's hard to pick up on the recording, but is there, is you're gonna hit the first fret first. So this is all heavily palm muted. First fret, then open, open. So that's a gallop. One, two, three. So it's a quick down, up, down, but the first note is the first fret. And then two downstrokes, and then three downstrokes. So I had this. One more time. All right, that's the first half of it. Then we do that little triplet thing, or the little gallop again, um, with the followed by the two op uh, downstrokes. So I had this. One more time. Um, sort of. 
All right, and then we're going to end it with those two uh, triplet, uh, the two triplet gallops. With the always starting with the first fret. All right, so let's uh, play that all together slowly. All right, so you basically do that four times, and then the fourth time, you're gonna, instead of doing this last, go to, instead of doing this last couple of gallops, you, you jump up here. That's a hammer from five to six on the a, uh, low E, over to five on the A string, seven on the D, and then eight, seven on the A. All right, so when you get to this riff, riff it kind of starts uh, kind of a more power groove, just using power chords here. Do something to... All right, so if you know basically metallic style and this kind of metal style, you know that kind of, it's a pretty easy rhythm there. So it's just going from the open E power chord with a couple of uh, hit open strings, low E's on there. First fret twice, then back to the open E. So it's basically this. So power chord, two hits, again, and then two times the first row, and then start over. And then end with that same riff. All right, now we go back into that groove riff that we did at the 18 second mark here where the vocals come in. So this is the verse of the song. When you do this though, you have to do that lick, but you do not go all the way down to the, the last note, the seventh row on the A, that E note. Because you gotta jump down and grab the first. See that? So you basically have that same riff, but you have that little lick at the end of it, and you do that four times for the first verse. All right, now we have this little, that little um, lick again, but that loud. All right, so at the one minute and two second mark, we have this little thrash riff, um, which we're gonna enter it with that same lick. But with that last ease, it's gonna be played with a power chord there at the seventh row on the A string. All right, so at, that's just that power chord. Then alternate pick, the low E string muted. And then slide into seventh on the low E, then eight, five on the eighth. Then back to that power chord switch. So after doing that twice, you have this little descending. So that's just slide into seventh again, then eight on the A, and then just go five, seven, three, five, When you get down to the second fret, you play that power chord. So after doing that twice, we have 
really there's a there's a guitar melody being played here by Kirk Hammond. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but we just have these chords being played. This is at the one minute and uh, twelve second mark. Actually, actually, real quick before when we're leaving this strat, uh, kind of there's a little sliding the seven over to seven on the A, back to seven on the B, and then. down into this little punk rock thing they do. So this riff at the mi one minute, 12 second mark, just power chord at fifth fret, and then the third. Just down up as fast as you can go, just muting it. All right, now over that, there's a little melody by Kirk Hammett, sounds like this. All right, so that kind of the timing of that was kind of off there, but we have, uh, uh, we're gonna slide into this. Uh, so it's sliding into the 15th fret from the, from the 12th fret on the A string, and then 17, 15, 14 on the D string. Over to 17 on the A, then 14, 15, 14 on the B. Now the next time through is kind of similar. This ended with 14, 15. This repeat. Just like the first time he played it. And then you have this melody, which he plays different live. Live, he's like, like that. But on the recording, the D string uh, always stays at the 12th fret here. So we're gonna play it like that. So. Uh, slide up to 12 on the D, over to 12 on the G, and then back to 12 on the D, 14 on the G, back to the 12, back to, to 16 on the G, back to 12, then 14 on the G. Now we get into this other riff, which kind of be could be the uh, chorus riff or whatever, um, but I'm going to show you the continued melody that goes over that before I show you the riff, since it's coming right out of this note. 14. 12, then 14, 16, then 17, 19, and 21. All right, so it's just up the 12th fret, uh, up on the G string, sorry. So we're gonna have, with that, Alright, so that is at the 1 minute 22 second mark. Um, so that starts with an 8 slide into 8, over to 7 on the A, back to 8 on the low E. And then we're going to play the same two chords we did before. There's a down up, down up on the low E string, muted, then hit the power chord. Yeah, keep throwing that little fill in between each one. Now here we uh, go back into the thrash rip at the one minute and 34 second mark by kind of doing the same notes. So it's a little bit different when we're starting the thrash riff. That sliding in the seven on the low E, play eight, five, and then you're back to the thrash. So it's that thrash riff without doing the, that kind of descending line. A little pause. And it takes you back to that power groove thing that we did earlier. And then it goes through the same riffs again, that same little low. All 
All right, so we have uh, pretty much that to, to, to go through. Uh, now, when we go to the, just so you'll know, when we get to the melody part again, Kirk Hammett's melody part, We had that little different ending instead of doing. Now what's going on there? That's just kind of what's on the G string here. We're going to be playing hammer seven nine, pull off the seven, pull off to the open. So do that twice. Then take that same riff down two, lick down two frets. Now just do it still on the G string between four and five and then two and four. Ended on the A there, second foot of the G string. So when we come back around, you see that melody part again, you'll, you'll see a, a different ending there. Um, just, you know, just so I don't forget to do it. All right, so now when we, we have something new at the two minute and 44 second mark. Uh, we have a little different riff, some of this. Alright, so uh, James Hatfield and Kirk Hammett are playing two different versions of that riff. So let's start with Kirk Hammett's way. We're going to start with this, just a power chord here at the first fret on the A string. And then we have the power chord over 3, 5, 6 on the low E. Just down to the low E power chord. Just chug on that a little bit, 12 times. Now, uh, Hetfield plays it like this. So that's just uh, third fret on low E, open A, then the power chord there at the first fret again, then to the low E. So he does that with Mark Hamas doing that. All right, and then we at the two minute and 57 mark, we have this riff. All right, so that's hammering five to seven on the A string. And then you're gonna hit the seventh fret there about four times. Five. Then seven, six on the low E. Then down to the low E. All right, and then we're gonna have this. That's uh, now the power chord of the six fret on the low E. Slide it down to five. Then pick that again. A few times on the low e, on the third fret. Down to the low E. So we have this. Again. All right. So coming to that, then we have that the same. The kind of thing where he, he sings over it. Um, now he continues that same riff. Uh, while we're, we're getting into the guitar solo here. So this guitar solo section where I'll play here is what Hetfield plays uh, during the guitar solo. So like this.
So that last part, he kind of just keeps it, the band kind of does it. Kind of just kind of do that same riff, but you kind of got to lock in with the band. So listen to the recording to lock in with it. So, all right, so let's talk about, it's that same riff four times. That's the first uh, four times to the, doing the guitar solo uh, rhythms here. And then we had that same. that riff done twice and now we have this new chord which is just like the chords we did earlier we're going to be playing this that power chord there at the third fret off the a string but you're also going to add the fifth in the bass so that's the third fret on the low e and the a and with the fifth fret on the d play that and then move it up two fret then we go back to that riff but you don't do the, that part, you just do the little lick twice. And then back to the power chord. And that lick twice again. Now that same riff, the second half of it, where the kind of tail of it, you're just gonna repeat that three times. And then you're going to end it with power chord twice here. Um, uh, at the first fret on the A string, the low E open power chord. And now we have this, this is really kind of ending the guitar solo section. Hetfield hangs out and does this. So that riff, opening riff that we did in, at the beginning of the song, um, Kirk Hammett plays this. All right, so he basically keeps going up, um, playing the original. And then doing the same thing, a fifth up. So that's sliding uh, seven and nine on the D. 10, nine, and then the slide again. Then 12, nine. And then the octave. So that's what Hetfield basically played in the intro. And then, then a kind of continuation of his harmony up a fifth. Just up another octave. So this is sliding into 12, 13, 12, then slide to 12. And when you hit that 15, that ends it. And then go back and hit those same two chords that lead us back into that groove part. The four minute and 23 second mark. Finally getting through the song. All right. Now we're to the end of the song now. We have that little harmony section at the very end. Um, which is actually layered, there's more than two guitar lines there. So you're going to hear the, uh, that same, you can kind of do it. Just... Have that just moving on along, uh, just continuing. And then another guy just kind of doing the, the octave. And then... So do whatever harmony line you want. They're really pretty much playing all of them there. So you hear this, you hear this one, and this one. So really kind of uh, do whatever one you feel like. Um, for um, And then coming out of that, we just have this. So that's just that same power chord, and then back to the seventh, and slide it down. All right, so that's a lot of riffs to get underneath your fingers. Uh, so hopefully those minute and second marks helps you. Uh, but you have to know the song well by ear. 
uh, be able to, you know, kind of lock in what parts come in where. You know, it makes it a lot easier. So hopefully you get to that point soon. Um, we have the guitar solo coming up next. I'll see you then.